It is so flooded in Paris. Good morning from Paris. Welcome to today's vlog. Today is a dreary day in Paris, which could actually be good for us because we don't mind it too much when it's dreary and that means that more people won't be out. So maybe we might get better pictures, better video, and just a better experience because it was very crowded yesterday and last night. So maybe today will give us a different perspective of Paris. Today's plan is to go to Luxembourg Palace and Gardens. I believe we can't go in the palace, but just to go see it and walk around the gardens would be cool. Then head over to Notre Dame. Is it Notre Dame? Notre Dame, Notre Dame, however you want to say it. You know what we mean. Yeah. And then to St. Chapelle. Those are our three major destinations. If it's raining and we think the Louvre might be empty outside, we might try to get some shots over there because it's not too far, but we'll just see how we feel at that point in the day and what it's like outside. This is going to be a far walk for us. I think it's about an hour just to get to Luxembourg Gardens, which is our first destination, and then everything else is further away from where we're staying. We're staying right by the Eiffel Tower, which I thought was going to be a good idea. It's actually pretty inconvenient. So if you're looking at coming to Paris, I would say stay somewhere where it's close to things that you're gonna be doing. We are only doing the Eiffel Tower one day, so. And get your tickets for the Eiffel Tower in far advance of when you're coming because we just got them yesterday. There was literally one slot left for the entire time that we are here in four days. So that was crazy. All right, we are on our way to the Luxembourg, Luxembourg Gardens. Gardens. This is going to be a far walk, but it's actually not too bad. We're pretty warm now. We've been walking for about 10 minutes. Yeah, it's not nearly as windy as in Edinburgh. It is windy though, but not no, as windy. So, we will see you guys at the Gardens in Palace. You're calling, I'm falling. Don't know what it is you do to me, yeah. Where you go, I follow. Let's go out and dance the night away. Going like one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Dance the night away. I am ready for that heartbreak. That's usually how it goes. I have done a billion mistakes before. Maybe I am going crazy. Made it to the garden and it is a giant park. Like you can see how much there is to do here. There's like so many people playing games together. You can see the palace. There's lots water. Of lots of runners, yeah. So so many people here. But it's so beautiful. I bet it's even more beautiful in the summer and spring when everything's bloomed. Don't you think? Yeah. But it's still beautiful now, so definitely a good place to check out when coming to Paris. And it's not too far from Notre Dame, which we are going to next. We made it to Notre Dame. I feel the same now that we dancing. I'm taking my chances. I'm going like one, two, three, four. Looking at you when you're on the floor. Five, six, seven, eight. Ready for that heartbreak? I'm going like one, two, three, four. Looking at you when you're on the floor. Five, six, seven, eight. So beautiful inside, don't you think, Nicholas? Yeah, it's just so pretty, but really crowded. Very the line crowded, moves so yeah. fast now. And you don't get to see that much compared to how big it is. Like, there's a whole upstairs and everything, but super cool. Definitely have to be quiet in there, or they'll yell at you for being loud. And very pretty on the outside, definitely photogenic, but it is raining now, so that kind of sucks. The cool thing is that you can go to the top of Notre Dame and see the city, and it's pretty hidden, so they don't make it clear that you can do that. It's actually around the side of the building, and there's not really any signs or anything. So good fun fact to know is that you can go to the top, but you do have to pay a fee. So here is the line to go to the top. Pretty long, and you could not order your tickets online. We are not waiting in it to go up. We are going to start heading to St. Chapelle. This was very close, about two minute walk. 
So we finally made it inside. A good little tip though is to buy your tickets online because if you do, you don't have to wait in nearly as long of a line. Security's really tight, so you have to go through like a metal detector. It's like at an airport. A lot of the places are like that since all the bad stuff that happens, but we're finally in and look at this. I still think we have to make it to the ticket counter though. So we'll bring you along. I missed ya. Give me that kiss now. I just wanna hold you close to me. I really like you. So when we bought our tickets online, we saw that there was a combined ticket with something else and it was only a couple more dollars, right? So we decided to get it even though we had no idea what it was and it's called the concierge, I think, something like that. And we walked right out of St. Chapelle and into another building, had to go through security again, but it is so cool in here. Check it out. Do you like me? Don't you wanna see what this could be? I am ready for that heartbreak, that's usually how it goes. Now we are actually going to head to the Louvre and we have tickets for Monday and it is Saturday but it's so close to here and it's like three o'clock probably so we have a lot of the day left so we thought we would go check it out it is raining so it might be a little bit more clear than it will be when it's sunny on Monday. Wow it is so flooded in Paris. I know. We've been hearing about these floods in Paris and we just arrived we weren't quite sure what they were talking about. We haven't seen anything, but we are walking along the river now and look at this. Those trees are like, especially that one, is like halfway underwater. And look at the bridge. That normally should have a lot more space in between it so boats can go underneath. This is crazy. But we are lucky that it's not really in the streets. You can also see over here the trees even closer are totally underwater and they probably aren't usually this deep in the water. And everything's roped off to go down to the water. Guys, this is so crazy. It's even deeper than we thought. Look, look at the sign. There's a sign over here. Oh my goodness, I bet this is not even supposed to be any underwater. Wow, and this dock is almost underwater. And then the trees, of course, yeah, over here too. Yeah, the little trees. And I'm big on this one. This one, this little one, has stuff around it that like probably is not ever underwater. There's things everywhere that are just so under. It's crazy. So we're getting really close to the Louvre, but we're not gonna show you guys too much because I think we are coming back in two days. So we'll show you a lot more then, but we're gonna go check it out and see what it's like for the first time. I'm going like one, two, three, four. Looking at you when you're on the floor. Look at all the sweets. You wanna go in and get some? Yes. That one's so cute. Everything looks good. I might get the fruit. Oh, it's close. It was not close. It's a push door. Wow, look at all the macarons. Oh my gosh. Look at that avatar. Do you have anything to tell them? Well. It's a really big tower and they call it Eiffel. I <laughs> read about the rest of our night. Oh, okay, so the plan is we're headed back, we're gonna eat fruit tarts, then we're gonna edit, that's there, then we're gonna edit, then we're gonna come back out and do some night photos. Maybe. Maybe, if it's not raining. If not, this is the end. You guys can come along with us. We're having some really good treats. Oh my goodness. Ready? Ready. Set. Go. Go. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Nichols is making a mess. Raspberries are so fresh. It's just 
Ashoka. Scale of 1 to 10. No. Not a perfect 10. We have to have another Do you one like before. Gabriel's better than this? Yeah. Different. 10. Nine and a half. What would you change about it to make it a 10? I don't know. I just don't give 10s. I wish it was colder. Like yeah, colder would be better. They were really good. See, people like you make Expensive. the scaling system off. Mm. If you never give 10s, then well, like 10 your is scale perfect. doesn't go to 10. Everything has to... Well, then your scale goes to 9.5. It's not the best one I've ever had in my whole life. So that's not a 10. We're, t we're trying the chocolate macaron. Mmm. Guys, these are expensive, but yeah. worth it. Have them guess down below. Yeah, okay, guess down below how much these were. And then, guess what we paid for two macaroons and two, and two fruit cakes. Worth it. Well, that was fun. It's always sad when you finish all your sweets. Probably gonna go take some night pictures here in a bit, so we'll see you there. We are on our way to take the night photos that Nicholas talked about. It's freezing. And it's already cold. <sighs> but we are going to do it for the gram. Always doing it for the gram. As we're walking there, we're really hoping that the rain holds off. It's been raining all day, but it looks like it stopped for a bit. But it's really cold, and it says it might snow this mo like 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. But we're really praying that the rain holds off. But when you have a vision, you have to go complete it. And we're only here for a little bit of time, so rain or shine, we gotta go take these photos. So we just finished up, it started raining, we got really, really good pictures, we hope. And we hope. We'll yeah, see. we'll have to see. We had like five minutes to just shoot, shoot, shoot as fast as we could and then it was over. But if you come on the hour for the first five minutes of every hour, it sparkles and has all these flashing lights, which was so pretty, which is what we came for. Yeah, every hour it does that and then like for five minutes. So uh, you can kind of count on that, which is good. Just repeated what she said. Now we get to walk back in the rain and cold, but it was definitely worth it. Yep. And tomorrow's going to be probably our most boring day here, but the exciting thing is that we get to go up the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. We have tickets at 1.30, and we're only going to the second floor, but I've heard mixed reviews yeah. and that half the people say the second floor is actually the better view. Yeah. So we will see, and we will take you guys along. So we will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.